You never been on a boat this small, huh? No, I have. It's been a while. It's been a little while. So you all rigged up? Yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, it looks like salmon water in here. Like I like the off color, that brown. You do? Yeah, uh, that's what I like. Uh, I don't like the super clear. Yeah. These guys are looking at us like... <laughs> That's how they're gonna look at me when I'm out fishing for yellowtail. Oh. Yeah, it feels like we're moving fast. <laughs> no cabin here to here. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, 18. Be there in no time. Yeah, we're fine. 620 right now, let's see how long it takes right. to get out there. Yeah, I'd say about 645, 650. Yeah, let me take, take those cameras off. Yeah, it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, because you lost one in Bodega, right? You said? Don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is the smallest boat I've been on in the ocean. Oh, there's the anchovies right here. That's all. Awesome. Yeah. Want to try it real quick right here? Yeah. Let's try it real quick. Dive ready. Yeah. Down. Let's try it. See, I hate to leave an area like this. Got the uh, Trinidad's tackle, bait heads here. So I'm using the watermelon, and uh, it did good yesterday, so we're gonna see if we can get lucky again today. Yeah, Andrew's on this uh, little diver, deep six, I'm just trolling. We've got a charter boat right in front of us, so we know there's some fish here, and we see birds diving all over the place. 75 feet of water. What are you gonna go down to? 18, 19, <laughs> I'm at 20 now, I'm gonna drop it down about 30. Okay. 30, 35 yeah. pools. Right in the middle or so? Yeah. Man, I know a lot of people were excited for the collab with Hero, but I'm more excited about this collab right here. I've been waiting to fish with this guy since April, since the salmon opener, but it's always been rough every day. Windy, rough, can't take this little 12 foot boat out, but we decided to come out today. What is it, like five foot swell? About a five foot swell, yeah. Five foot swell, eight seconds or so? That's what the report was showing, but uh, feels like a five to me. Oh, uh, we got any anchovies out? Oh uh, yeah, I've got an anchovy here. Yeah, so I try always to keep the scales on them as much as possible make it uh, look all natural. So Andrew's using this deep diver and he's got that Trinidad's tackle. Kind of looks like a crippled anchovy. It's got a little wire in it so it bends too, right? Yeah, it's got the wire in it so it's got a little bend to it. And this, a lot of charter boats use this. this is, I don't know, some people call them super flex baiters, other people call them different things, but... Oh, I, I just had it. I got oh, fish out. Fish out, fish out, fish out. Yeah, on the diver. On the diver. Yeah. Pop that thing off, you got it? All right, that was quick, dude. Five minutes. Oh, oh yeah. On? yeah, I'm on. Look at the net. Yep. Man, this is fun. Hell yeah, dude. All right, I'm getting close. You want to get behind me? Yep. Oh, it's a hog. It's a hog. Oh, oh that's a nice that's one, dude. That's a big one. And we just trolling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. Oh, yep. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, no. oh, oh, oh. Got him. Yeah, right oh, on yeah. yeah. Just like that. Woo. And we own. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right on. Good job netting, too. Perfect. Oh, he wasn't coming off that. Nice fish. Yeah. Probably like a 27. Yeah, something like that. 26, 26. maybe. Yeah. Well, before we were interrupted by the fish, I was trying to tell you how to use this little bait. So this got a wire in it and a hook. One hook for this, you measure up to about the eye. It's got a loop in it, so you find where the entry point should be. Push that wire through the scales. Try not to get any scales off if you can help it. Side of the backbone, all the way up. Tuck the hook a little bit. All right, get this guy bled out. Hey, he's about eight pounds, huh? All right, now we in, the fish is in. Got a hook right here on the tail. And now you just give it a little bend on that wire. The wire will, will keep its bend. You either can do this with a rubber band or a little little uh, nail, put it through the mouth, and then you spin this wire around so it keeps the mouth shut. All right, nice little spin to it right there. I think we're good to go. I'm gonna drop it back maybe, I don't know, 20 feet, 25 feet, 30 feet. After that, yeah. I can put it on the downrigger. That'd be cool if I could get one right here with nothing. Nothing on the downrigger, just straight on top. I heard stories about that last year. People just dropping their bait in and getting fish. All right, so line's way out. Got this four pound downrigger ball. Never used this. This is a little lake troller, kayak downrigger. 
So anybody who doesn't know how a downrigger works, there's a ball here and we've got a clip here. Clip this to the line. Once you get a fish, you pull it off and you're fighting the fish with no weight. That thing looks so tiny. <laughs> is that, what is it, Scotty or? Yeah, a little Scotty. And you loosen this up, every little turn is one foot. So, uh, 30. Yeah, that first fish, 30, 30 feet down. Yeah. 30 pulls. One, in. two, three, four, five, six. 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and then tighten it up. And you troll and then just reel down to it a little bit so you got a little bend in your rod. And go either way. If I go over here. Yeah, that looks good. How's that look? Pretty good, huh? All right, yeah. Drop yours down. Ton of bait here, too, all on the fish finder. Bait was so thick earlier, the fish finder said we were at 10 feet, but it was just bait. We were at 70 feet. So when you fish the anchovy or whatever you use now you like a tight spin right yeah tight spin real t yeah like a like a drill bit real tight but for halibut it's a little different you like a little um yeah you want more of a yeah sometimes i'll hit it with a tight spin you know yeah i feel like halibut it's a little bit more forgiving right yeah What's that? you can steer yeah. control the speed change the speed out can you hand me that diver there thanks maybe that knife too cut that line oh, I got Oh, yeah, he's small. He, he just spit it. He just spit the hook. Oh, he Dang. did? Oh, man. Man. Damn. Spit the hook. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't that big. Right. Baby keeper. So you haven't caught a salmon yet this year? Nope. You haven't fished one, right? Nope. First time. And all the charter boats are getting limits. Oh, yeah, pretty much limits. Not every day, but more, more times than not. You want to? I, no, I think I got hit. Oh, fish on, baby. Fish on. Yeah? Feel good? Uh, not 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 the best. Uh, no, no, might be small. Net him? Yeah. No, yeah, he's, he's small. small. He's small. No, we don't need net him. Nope, don't net him. Little guy. Oh my hair. That's the price. There he is. Small Didn't little guy. Didn't even touch it. Well, it works. That flex baiter. Skunk off the board for right me. On. <laughs> First salmon of the year. So a lot of times when I was fishing for salmon last year, like we'd just be trolling straight, and then I'd make a turn, and that's when we would get bit. And Andrew was saying a lot of the times, if you're going slow, just speed it up, kick it up a mile per hour or so, and sometimes that just triggers something in the salmon and makes them bite. So we're trolling at 3.2 3 right now, kicking it up and down a little bit. We're in 75 feet of water. I'm at 30 feet, Andrew's at 40. Yeah, I don't know, man. It wind picked up a lot. It's probably like, what do you think? 15? Yeah, at least 15. 15, 15 knots. Yeah, we're about 10 miles from the harbor right now. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking to go in. Get I closer? Because we're going to get wet. I mean, man. So that's the bad thing about this boat. When you go over a little swell and the wind's blowing at you, the boat will kick the water up and it'll blow right back in your face. So Definitely getting wet on the ride back. Yeah. Yeah, you want to pull them out? Yeah, sure. Better safe than sorry now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's get them in. All right, I want to take the cameras off so I don't lose another right. camera like last time. Before. Ah. All right. The GoPro stopped recording. So Andrew is one fishy dude. He's got a channel called The Other Fishing Channel. He taught me a lot of stuff. He was the one who actually helped me get my first salmon that I've ever caught by myself on the Zodiac last year. That was an epic fight. And it was all thanks to Andrew. So I've been looking forward to this little collab for a long, long time now. Finally, we had the chance to come out, even though the waters aren't the best condition. But check out his channel. I know you're going to learn something there. The other fishing channel. And we're back here. He's drying off now. Once we got back in, he stood up and the water just splashed out. It was pretty bad. So. We're in here, he's drying off now. Um, it's a lot more calm over here. So we're gonna rig up again, same rigs. He's doing this, this has a wire in it. So you can just give it a little bend, just like that. And then I'm running, like I showed you earlier, but maybe you could see it a little bit better now. That thing right there. So you put the head on. Actually, let me bait one up here and show you how it looks uh, while we're not moving on the boat. All right, so we're using these anchovies, right? And you got this wire here and this hook this hook if you can see it's got two little eyes one that's where you clip on the snap swivel 
and then right below it that's where you put in the needle the nail so you want to measure out and you want the, the where you put the nail in you want that right in the mouth and you want this little part where you clip it out just right outside the mouth so you find out where to go and you point the hook down and where it goes in should be right around there hook facing down bring it out the mouth so you see that it's coming out right in front of the nose but it's also got that other clip right in the mouth and there's the hook right there we take our nail or pin we put it through the bottom of the mouth, through that hole, right through the top of the anchovy. Boom, just like that. And either, you can either use a rubber band and just go from end to end, or you can use what this came with, little, little wire, and just wrap it around. And you can pre-rig these too if you want to. You can have like 10 of them ready to go, and all you gotta do is snap them right there just like that and that wire just give it a little bend a little bend like that with the wire and once it's in the water trolling around it'll be spinning very nicely so we're not going to try for too much longer just go out there for another hour maybe and then come back in and cook some lunch no my life i had a fish on for sure i did too i think i got one too I Unless think we're it might be tangled. I think we are, but dang, that was, I didn't feel like that was a fish. Maybe one of us has a fish on. Oh, you do. Oh, yeah. you got rock fish. Is that a rock fish? Yeah, that's, that's huge. That's a big blue. Yeah. Big old blue rock fish trolling. Nice. Yeah, that thing's huge. Well, we gave it another shot, but no luck. So I got an uh, idea to cook this salmon up away. Andrew's never tried. I've never tried either. So this is going to be gonna be gonna be interesting I think it's gonna be good don't think you can really go wrong so we'll see you guys back at the fillet table so Andrew's one salmon we're gonna cut that up he's gonna fillet it show us how he does it yep. pretty big we've got a nice big blue rockfish also yeah, what do you say three pounds when he weighed it yeah three, 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 a little three and a half a little over three yeah we were trolling for salmon caught that big blue rockfish that's a good one what do you think 27 yeah it's a commercial grade, it's 27 inches. They're out here. I'm just thinking about this fish right here, it's how tasty it's gonna be. <laughs> but yeah, I just followed the, uh, the middle bone down here. You can rub your knife right against it and uh, it flays off pretty nice. Is that anchovy I see in the stomach? Yeah, what we got here? Yep, something. What is that? Big old fish. Yeah, anchovy. Big fish eat the little fish? Right. Nice meat right there. Yeah. This one was a female. The uh, a little bit of egg. Row. Nice red orange salmon color. You keep the collars. Oh yeah, the collars. I think it's the best part of the salmon, How especially you... smoked. Smoked collars. There we have it. Yeah. Voila. Maybe. There's that right there. How much per fillet do they sell salmon for now? Your way, twenty bucks. I think right now stores. I think last time I was there a few weeks ago was like 20, 20 bucks a pound. Now what's it weigh? That's uh, got to be five pounds. Yeah, that's five pounds. Know. So I've never had fried salmon before. I have no idea how it's going to taste, but I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be good. So we're starting off with this. This is the mix we're going to use. All you do is mix an egg in with this until it's the consistency of pancake mix. And if it's too thick, then just add a little water. Two eggs and some of the mix in here. Pretty thick, you definitely don't want it to be like a dough, so a little water. All right, coals are hot. Get this oil heated up, a little grapeseed oil, good for frying. A little bit of butter, just a little bit. So I'm gonna take a couple salmon pieces and just dip it. Get all the excess off. Yeah, it's good temperature, yeah? Oh yeah, it looks good. It's not gonna take very long. I don't think so, no. Just about done. 
don't think there's anything else to do other than dig in. So, man. Yeah, man. Take a peek. Thanks yeah, for peace. catching the fish, dude. Mmm. This guy, how's it? Good? Yeah. Good. Mmm. Good, huh? Oh, yeah. I didn't season the fish at all either. I forgot to season it, but the batter has a lot of. It's not too thick. Itself. It's uh, it's perfect. That's what it looks like. You still get the oil too. Yeah. What would you add to this? Would you do any dip or anything? Mm, maybe some seasoning. No seasoning. Well, I mean, it's pretty good though. Oh, like a, a tartar sauce or something. Mm, maybe. Mm. I learned a lot from this guy. He got a tutorial on crippled anchovy. Something so simple, you would think it's just so straightforward, but he's got a couple of tricks to make it simpler. You know, that little plastic clip that you plug into the crippled anchovy it always gets bent. You can't find the way through. Check out his channel. He's got a couple of tips and tricks how to do it right and also how to get that spin right. So, a couple of trips coming up. And if you make a video, I'm sure you'll post it on the channel. Oh, yeah, it'll be there. Oh, I got fish on there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he didn't. I don't think he released it though. 